Hello everybody, it's the Techno Trainer here. Before I go into this video, I'd like to let everyone know that I'm a man of data, and I appreciate both making and seeing graphs, numbers, and other similar things to the content of this video. Now if you enjoyed these things as well, let me know in the comments. I know it might not be the most exciting video either, but perhaps fellow nerds can dwell in the information pool I will soon provide. Hopefully you enjoy! On screen now is a list of Pokemon that are excluded. Any Pokemon that I qualify as Legendary, or any Pokemon that are in their Mega, Primal, or Dynamax forms are not included. A few oddities like Ash Greninja, Partner Pikachu and Eevee from the Let's Go games, and the non-supersized forms of Gorgeist are excluded as well. Now the largest pool of exclusions though, goes to any Pokemon that is still able to evolve. For instance, Farfetch'd is in this report because it cannot evolve, but Galarian Farfetch'd is excluded because it still can. Sloking and Slowbro are both counted, and so are Ninjask and Shedinja. You get the point, I assume. Starting off with the Bug type, we have Scorch with the highest HP, Escavalier with the highest attack, Shuckle with the both defenses, Vikavolt with the highest special attack, and Ninjask with the highest speed. Volcarona sits on top though with the highest base stat total. Now, previously, since my last report in Generation 6, Yanmega used to have the highest HP, and Volcarona used to have the highest special attack, so since then, that's changed a little bit. Now in the upper right hand corner, Special Defense makes the highest number here for the bug type, that's 82, and the lowest stat they have is HP at 66. Now some of the notable trainers here are Bugsy, Aaron, Berg, Viola, and Guzma. Now the bug type makes up about 9.4% of all Pokemon and is the 6th most common type. Moving on to the dark type now, we have Mandibuzz with the highest HP, Tyranitar with the highest attack, Scrafty with the highest defense, Hydreigon with the highest special attack, Umbreon with the highest special defense, and Weavile with the highest speed. Now, the highest base stat total is tied for Tyranitar and Hydreigon, which are both pseudo legendaries, and you'll see that trend pretty frequently. Now, their highest stat is uh, the attack stat with 99.36, it's pretty dang good. We also have their lowest uh, stat is the special defense with 75. Now, some of the notable dark type trainers are Karen, Sydney, Grimsley, Nanu, Marnie, and Piers. Uh, these Pokemon have actually stayed the same since Generation 6. Nobody in Generation 7 or 8 took any of these spots from previous Pokemon. Moving on to the Dragon types, we have Appleton with the highest HP, Haxorus with the highest attack, Turtonator with the highest defense, Drampa with the highest special attack, Gudra with the highest special defense, and Dragapult with the highest speed. Now, pretty much all of the pseudo legendaries are tied with the highest base stat total at 600. Uh, the Dragon Type's highest stat is Attack, that's at 102, and their lowest stat is Speed at 77. That's actually really a really high low stat. So, um, a lot of notable trainers here Lance, Claire, Drake, Drayden, Iris, Drasna, Zinnia, uh, Ryuki, and Raihan. So, uh, there's a lot going on here, but we did uh, also lose quite a few Pokemon from previous report as well. Uh, Appleton kicked out Garchomp for highest HP. Turtonier kicked out Tyrantrum for highest defense. Grandpa kicked out for highest uh, special attack. And we also kicked out Noivern with Dragapult for the highest speed. Moving on to Electric, we have Lantern with the highest HP, Electivire with the highest attack, Alolan Golem with the highest defense, Vikavolt with special attack, all Rotom forms for special defense, and Electro with speed. Now, Electivire has the highest base stat total. Now, Alolan Golem actually kicked out Magnezone for highest defense. Which is a shame because I love Magnetone. And the highest stat, unsurprisingly, for Electro type is the special attack stat at 92, and their lowest stat is HP at 69. Now, there's some uh, famous trainers here, or notable trainers. We have Surge, Watson, Volkner, Elisa, Clement, and Sophocles. Moving on to the fairy type, we have Wigglytuff with the highest HP, Granbull and Grimmsnarl with the highest attack, Carving with the highest defense. Hatterene with the highest special attack, Florges with the highest special defense, and Rabombi with the highest speed. Florges has the highest base stat. Uh, we also lost Gardevoir used to have the highest special attack in this category, and my favorite Pokemon, Whimsicott, used to have the highest speed, but Rabombi took over there. Um, the highest stat for fairy types, again unsurprisingly, is special defense with 94, and their lowest is speed with 70. We only have a few notable trainers here, Valerie. Uh, Mina, Opal, and Bead. Onward to the fighting type, we have Hariyama with the highest HP, Conkildur with the highest attack, Komo O with the highest defense, Lucario with the highest special attack, Galadin Scrafty tied for special defense, and Halucha for speed. Komo O has the highest space base stat total. He actually kicked out Infernape for the highest. 
total. And he kicked out Chestnut for the highest defense. He kicked out two starters. Now look at the attack set on this thing. This is crazy. Look at the upper right-hand corner. 113 average attack set. Again, unsurprisingly, that's best stat, but that is a very high number here. Their lowest stat, again, super unsurprisingly, is special attack. Pretty cool how that checks out. For the fire type, we have Emborn and Colossal here with the highest HP, uh, Galarian, Zenmo, Darmanitan for attack and speed, Torkoal for defense, Chandelure for special attack, Flareon for special defense, and Arcanine, surprisingly, with the highest base stat total of all fire types. Now, uh, kicked out of here is no surprise. We all know Galarian, Zenmo, Darmanitan is a beast. He kicked out... Uh, regular Darmanitan for highest the attack and Talonflame for the highest speed prior to this. Now the highest stat here is the special attack and their worst stat is the HP and we have various uh, fire type specialists here at the bottom. Moving on to the flying type we have Driftblim with HP, Archaeops with the attack stat, Skarmory with the defense stat, Togekiss with special attack, Mantine with special defense, Ninjask with speed and again the two pseudo legendaries for the flying type. Uh, none of the Pokemon were kicked out of these. These are the same tops since Generation 6, which is interesting. And Flying Type has the is the only stat with the highest stat that is Speed. In fact, Speed is also the most common lowest stat, or most common worst stat, with 10 different types having that stat as their worst stat. Um, speed is at 90, and their worst stat is Defense at 72. On to the ghost type, we have Driftblim with the highest HP again, AG Slash Blade with the highest attack, Kofagrigus and Runerigus with the highest defense, Chandelure and Cursula with the highest special attack, AG Slash Shield with the highest special defense, and Dragapult with the highest speed, and again a pseudo legendary up top with the highest base stat total, that is Dragapult. Interestingly enough, this is the only time where a Pokemon was moved down a rank. That's because Aegislash got nerfed in Generation 8, where its attacks and defense went from 150 to 140. So because of that, it used to be the highest defense, but we took over Kofagrigus and Renrigus, and it used to have the highest special attack in Blade form, uh, but Cursula and Chandelier took over that. Next is the Grass type. Uh, we have Gogo -Go with the highest HP, Delmize with attack, Ferrothorn with defense, both Executors for the highest special attack, Eldegoss with the highest special defense, and Sceptile with speed. Tangrowth has the highest base stat total amongst grass types, which is interesting. And we had uh, Delmize kick out uh, Brelum for highest attack, and Eldegoss kicked out Ferrothorn for highest special defense. Their best stat is the attack stat, and their worst is the speed. Next is the ground type. We have Rhyperior for HP and attack, Steelix for defense, Camerupt for special attack, Claydol for special defense, and Ductrio for speed, and again, another pseudo-legendary, Garchomp for base stat total. Uh, none of these Pokemon have changed since Generation 6. They all maintain the same spots that they had, and their highest stat is the attack stat with 99, almost 100, and their lowest is speed with 61. That is a very low, low, but they also have a very high defense as well. Pretty cool typing. Up next is the Ice type, we have Lapras with HP, Galarian, Darmanitan, Zen Mode with attack, speed, and base stat total, Avalog with defense, Gl uh, Glaceon with special attack, and Cryogonal with special defense. I told you, uh, Zen Mode, Galarian, Darmanitan was a beast. He kicked out uh, Mamoswan for highest attack, he kicked out Weavile for highest speed, and he kicked out Lapras and Vanillix for base stat total. The normal type has Blissey with the highest HP, Slaking with the highest attack and base stat total, Miltank with the highest defense, uh, Porygon Z and Drampa tied for special attack, Blissey again for special defense, and Swellow for speed. Uh, none of these Pokemon have changed positions since Generation 6, except Drampa ties for Porygon Z. It used to be just Porygon Z. Um, the HP stat is their best stat, which is a rare occasion, and special attack is their worst stat. With the Poison type, we have Amoongus with the highest HP, Toxicroak with the highest attack, Toxapex with both defense and special defense, Gengar with special attack, and Crobat with both speed and base stat total. Uh, we used to have Weezing with the highest defense, and we used to have Dragalge with the highest special defense, but of course, the wall of Toxapex took over both of those spots. Now, the Poison type's best stat is attack, and again, their worst stat is speed. For Psychic type, we have Wobbuffet with HP, 
Plus with attack, defense, and total. Uh, Zen mode Darmanitan regular with special attack, which is pretty crazy because Psychic is really good at special attack. We have Mr. Mime, Orbeetle, and Claydol all tied for special defense, and Alakazam with speed. Now again, like I said, spe uh, Psychic's best stat is special attack at 95. Their worst stat is attack. It's basically the inverse of the fighting type, which is pretty cool. Again, you can see it statistically speaking. It's right here in front of your eyes. Up next is the rock type. We have Aurorus with HP, Rampartos with attack, Shuckle with both defenses, uh, Amistar with special attack, and Aerodactyl with speed, and Tyranitar with the high space stat total. I find it interesting how many fossils are here. Out of the seven categories we have, uh, four of them are fossils. Four of them. That's pretty good. Their highest stat is defense. It's pretty incredible with 111, but their lowest stat is speed with 59. I think that is the lowest low of all lows here. We have the Steel type next with Capra Ja at the highest HP, AG Slash Blade with both attack and special attack, Steelix for defense, Probo Pass for special defense, and Alolan Dub Trio for speed with Metagross having the highest base stat total. Again, a pseudo taking over there. Um, we also lost uh, in the HP section, we had uh, Excadrill with the highest HP, and we also had um, Durant with a low end of trio taking over in speed it's pretty interesting uh their highest stat is unsurprisingly the defense stat with almost 110 and their lowest is speed is very similar to the rock type with the water type we have uh whale lord with the highest hp wishy-washy school form with the highest total attack and special attack we have cloister with the highest defense toxipack uh, Toxapex with the highest special defense and Barrascuto with the highest speed. Now a lot of changes happen here in water type. It's the most changes since generation 6. We used to have Kingler with the highest attack, which Wishiwashi took over. Clodster with the highest special attack, Wishiwashi took over. We used to have Mantine with the highest special defense, Toxapex took over that. And the high speed used to belong to Greninja. Um, the highest base stat total used to belong to Kingdra, Milotic, and Gyarados. All fitting, um, but you know, Wishiwashi school form is pretty pretty tanky it's the third tankiest pokemon i think second tankiest pokemon out of this list um we have their defense is barely their highest stat and their speed is that so this screen here is pretty much just a review of this the table in the upper left is going to show you each type with their average base stat total their highest stat their lowest stat and the pokemon with the highest base stat total um, you're going to see a lot of pseudo legendaries in that category over there you can see a lot of dragonite's elements garchomp etc etc um, in the table in the bottom left hand, it shows you uh, like what each stat is. So basically, total top stats. That means HP was the total top stat once. That's for the uh, attack was the highest stat seven times. Um, speed was the highest stat once, etc. Speed was the lowest stat ten times. You can see that in the lowest stat category over there. Um, that's pretty much that. And then on the table on the right side, it's going to show you individually the Pokemon out of all this data here with the highest HP stat is Blissey. Um, the type with the highest HP stat is Ground. And it's funny because Normal's best stat is HP, but Ground still does it better. Um, the Pokemon with the highest attack stat out of all is Rampardos. And the type with the highest attack stat is Fighting. The Pokemon with the highest defense stat is Shuckle, unsurprisingly. And the type with the highest defense stat is Rock. The Pokemon with the highest special attack is Chandelier, Vikavolt, and Cursola. They're all tied for 145, I think. And their highest, uh, the, the type with the highest special attack is Fire. Um, the Pokemon with the highest special defense is once again Shuckle. And that is uh, the type with the highest special defense is Fairy, fitting enough. The highest speed is Ninjask, which is very fast Pokemon. And the type with the highest speed is the flying type. It's Again, that's the only type that has speed as their best stat. Um, the total, though, goes to Slaking. He has an incredible base stat total, but of course he has a hindering ability. And the type with the highest base stat total is Dragon. Uh, not surprising as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what I can do better. I know my mic is crap. Um, and this, like I said, this might not have been the most entertaining video of all time, but it's... You know, it's for us nerds to just sit down and enjoy. You know, if you like numbers, that's what this is for. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and that's pretty much it. Techno's out.